What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Damn, Puffy, you getting a lot of people in trouble, boy. I'm telling you. This brother getting a lot of people in trouble, and people skeletons is coming back to get them. So apparently in this new documentation of the lawsuit that's going on against Puffy that may have led to Homeland Security and the FBI raiding his mansions and his homes in Miami and his place in New York and got his drug dealer arrested. So apparently in these new documents, it's alleged that J-Lo was carrying the pistols for Puffy when they were together which actually led to a shooting that took place in a New York nightclub one day that Shine ended up taking the charge for and going to prison for almost 10 years behind the New York club shooting. So apparently this is what they saying. Allegedly, J-Lo was carrying the pistol that night to get it into the club. Then from that, whatever altercation broke out, she gave the gun to Puffy, alleged, allegedly. Puffy let off the shots because even the victim came out and let it be known who got shot in the face that day, that Puffy was actually the one who shot her. And she said she testified to that, that he shot her she saw him with the gun and she know for a fact he shot her that's what the woman just recently came out and said she know this for a fact and she said it but yet he still wasn't charged with it we also seeing in the paperwork that a couple officers was named who puffy actually got in his pockets that according to little rod who's Puffy ex-engineer who was doing music for him that Puffy was letting it be known if anything ever was to happen and go down these are the police that you called that I got in my pocket which may have been one of the reasons why he probably wasn't charged with the nightclub shooting that that night when the victim said she identified him as the shooter then they also saying that he paid Shine a million dollars to take the charge. Man, please. I ain't never finna take no charge like that. Especially when you already in the game. Especially when you already, you know what I'm saying? Um, Signed and making money. I wouldn't have never took that charge for a million dollars. You're going to make a million dollars. <laughs> You're going to make a million dollars anyway. He took that charge and going to prison ended up spending a million dollars. So he went, he did 10 years in prison for nothing. <laughs> Crazy. So apparently what they talking about, like this new information that just came out, making it hurt J-Lo's reputation. How could this hurt J Lo reputation? J Lo Ben had a reputation. Let's just be honest. Suge Knight and them allegedly was hitting her. The cast of and Living Color was allegedly hitting her. Eminem, I'm saying allegedly, even though we all know what's up. Hell, smell my fingers. <laughs> the scent might still be on. It might still be on my fingers. <laughs> Eminem then hit it. Rappers hit it. Puffy hit it. Hit, um, them other Mexican dudes hitting it. The white man hitting it. <laughs> man, please. Man, please. Everybody that hit J Lo. Reputation. <laughs> what reputation? That's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> How her reputation going to be damaged? Like, what reputation? That <laughs> her reputation. Reputation of, of what? <laughs> Hell. 
Come on, man. J Lo been a Hollywood whore, an industry whore. Come on, man. She still look good though. She still fine and sexy too, ain't she? She still that's a fake booty, ain't it? But they did they do her surgery right. Why the black people surgery be messed up, but everybody else surgery be right. Black people have them surgery, everything go wrong with them. They they face look, look, they face look like it's hanging off. You see little Kim them face? You see uh Serena Williams, how she look like why they do that type of stuff? You saw Michael Jackson face. They be messing up. <laughs> she look good. J Lo still look good. Hell. I wouldn't care about her being a whore. I want some too. <laughs> Smell my fingers. <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100. J Lo still fine. That lady like 60 years old almost. Still fine, still strapped, still putting girls to shame. <laughs> Man, that fifty-year-old girl putting girls to shame. She she got the best doctors. But anyway, so they saying that her reputation may be damaged as a result of this. Again, who cares at this point? Why? Why you, why should she care at this point? Let's just keep it real. J Lo, why should you care at this point if your reputation tarnished? You already didn't cast out. You already got the money. You already married to the other rich white man. You didn't have like three, four divorces. Like reputation. Girl, please. <laughs> the reputation of what? When have you ever had a good damn reputation? <laughs> it's known in Hollywood you get down. It's known in Hollywood you've been bust down, handed off, passed off. Man, everybody, what reputation? <laughs> Man, please. But yeah, I know she's scared. But what they were saying, like, the um, when it comes to this specific situation between J-Lo and Puffy, that um she wouldn't be charged with nothing even if it came out to be true because the statute of limitation has already passed for that type of crime the only crime that don't have a statute of limitation to it is murder murder don't have a statute of limitation to it so she couldn't be charged with this even if it came out to be true but one reason now we see why she left. Now, now it makes sense why she broke up with Puffy and didn't want to give him another chance and go back with him because she knew she was a, a party to a crime on his actions. That's why she separated from him and cut him immediately off because that case was still going on and come to find out she the one that got the gun in the club, allegedly, and handed him off the gun to do the shooting and then shine took the fall like come on man so so now we see why the hell she got away that's why she got away didn't want nothing to do with him because she was scared the truth was going to come out that she was actually the one that got the pistol in the club and was the one that gave it to puffy when he shot up the club allegedly so that's why she got the hell away from him afraid that that was going to come up because she knew the real truth of what actually happened and was afraid that if they did get puffy for it and shine would have turned down the money they would have had to roll over on each other so she would have told on him and he would have told on her so that's the real deal now now we have the answer to why she broke up with him and wouldn't give him another chance because she give everybody chances when god be hitting her from the back and then cheating on her and mistreating her, she go she be going back with them dudes. So we see why she didn't give Puffy a chance again, because she was the one holding the pistol, allegedly. And they want to go to prison behind what had happened. So she disconnected from him 
and went and got a white man. Who she went with after that? Wasn't it the basketball? No, no, it was the baseball player who everybody liked. She went and go start having sex with somebody that white America liked in case she get uh, called to be accountable for her participation in that shooting. So she went and go do what she do best. <laughs> she went Alice Rodriguez. She went and blow his top. She <laughs> she went and blow Alice Rodriguez top. <laughs> For real. Man, J-Lo be getting around. Talking about, she, talking about everybody know her. You, you know what her name is? Jenny from the block. That's what everybody call her when she be getting down. They call her Jenny from the block. Everybody know Jenny from the block like to give top. <laughs> Just keep me worried. Everybody know that. She ain't nothing to put on blast. She started from in living color dancing for college tuitions. Remember that? She used to dance on in living color as one of the back backup dancers for her college tuition. Girls in the club cutting up, shaking in the club the world. J-Lo in the club, show her love. Shaking that in the club, J-Lo world. J-Lo in the club, getting love. Shaking in the club, J-Lo world. <laughs> I'll make it rain on J-Lo. I'm just keeping it real. J-Lo could get a few dollars from me. Ain't that right, fellas? J-Lo could get a few dollars from me. Hell, <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. She's still fine, even to this day. But she packed them pistols.